hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the first time let's say this is your first time watching my video hi i'm eddie i film about lifestyle health and career and i'm filming from nigeria please don't make it your last by subscribing to this channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back thank you for always tuning in thank you for the likes the share the comment thank you for the support i really appreciate it and i do not take it for granted you know what i love 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 so today i am going to be talking about what you should expect in your first professional exam as a medical laboratory science student just in case you don't know i am a medical laboratory technician and i am also a medical laboratory science student about to be a graduate <laughs> does that make sense <laughs> okay what i'm trying to say is that i am a few moments later i've not written my second professional exam but i have signed out of university if that makes sense so i am a medical laboratory science student about to be a graduate i hope you understand what i'm saying okay so that means i have written two professional exams one for the medical laboratory science and the other one for when i finished my medical laboratory technology school which makes it two professional exam under medical laboratory science council of nigeria so based on my experience i am going to be talking about what you should expect in your first professional exam if this is something you would like to watch let's just say you are interested in this topic don't go anywhere sit back relax and join me okay, okay 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 before we go into the video anything i say in this video does not necessarily mean that that is what you are going to be meeting in your exam or that is exactly what is going to come out in your exam i am saying all these things based on my experience and also to like put you on track you can get ready for your exams and know what to like just something that can lead you into your region so that someone will not come and say okay but eddie said eddie is not saying anything i am not part of the medical laboratory science council of nigeria okay with no further ado let's jump right into the video <laughs> that you should know as a medical laboratory science student is that you are going to be writing two professional exam one in your 400 level and the second one is in your 500 level so the one in the 400 level is the first professional exam and that's the one we are going to be talking about today while the second one is the second professional exam which you are going to be writing in your 500 level like the i said the next thing that you, that you should know is that your first professional exam is into three parts the mcq which is the multiple choice question the practical and also the viva the first professional exam happens in two days the first one is the four on the first day you happen to write your post multiple choice question and also the practical and on the second day is going to be your viva which is your oral exam and also most likely your result another thing that you should know is that your first professional exam covers the four specialty of medical laboratory science which are the hematology the histopathology the microbiology and the chemical pathology so your first professional covers these four specialties which means everything that you've been taught from your 200 level to 400 level and those are the things that you are going to be reading to prepare for your exam now your multiple choice question is most likely going to be 100 questions that covers the all specialties of medical laboratory science so this these questions are going to cover all the topics or the aspects that you've been taught in your school the multiple choice question you don't neglect any topic for this exam you just just say okay i don't think they will bring this one out you can't say that because it is a professional exam you cannot predict the best thing is to read into details is the best thing is to understand is to understand every concept and everything under each topic i'm going to say that whatever thing that you read for your multiple choice question when you are reading for that aspect you should take note of them you should take a very good note of them because they are going to be helpful for your viva i'm still coming to that okay so do not neglect things read into details in multiple choice question you get to see 
topics like questions that has to do with reference ranges like all this formula formula for red cell indices all those small small things that you think that okay they are not supposed to ask or they are too cheap to be asked trust me they are those are the questions that are easy to even fail so you have to read into details you have to understand every concept if you are in 400 level you have to go back to your 200 level and start reading everything from back from front page to the back page let's say you are seeing your 200 300 level my advice is going to be you being attentive in class if you are attentive in class you are going to like get you you will probably not have problem with assimilating all those small small details about each each topic if you are still like let's say your final yeah let's say your first professional exam is not closed yet or you don't even know the date yet you should start reading from scratch read in details read in the in the in the sense that you are actually assimilating you're not just reading in the sense that if you are asked question you'll be able to like say a whole lot of things about that particular topic so that's that about multiple choice question for your practical try as much as possible to read the question to understand the question in details your practical actually holds the pillar to you passing the exam let's say the practical is like the main thing so you should be calm and you should know actually know what you're doing so to know what you are doing you have to prepare you have to go with your mobile lab and you have to also understand the question so for your practical question it is going to be it's most likely going to be six questions and spotting is going to be part of the questions another one is that you have either hematology or blood glycerology and also parasitology or bacteriology and then histo is compulsory and chemical pathology all these questions are compulsory and but I don't know how they are going to do it. It will shall be six question. So you read the questions into details. And for hematology, for hematology, you should expect things like PCV estimation, packed cell volume estimation. And they might not just give you packed cell volume estimation alone. You can be asked to like calculate the red cell indices, the MCHC, MCV, the MCH and also you can be asked to like make thin film make thin film stain one leave one unstained so you should go learn and perfect your thin film making and also for blood group serology you can be asked to like do um blood group the reverse blood grouping and also the forward gr blood grouping and i think that's all for hematology i am not so sure but those are like the topics that I know that they are most likely going to be so there. So for parasitology, I am going to say that um, stool analysis, urine analysis, biology, you're most likely going to call media, uh, culture on it, and also gram staining. For parasitology, they can even also ask you to like make thin film and all that, all those things. For pathology, it is most likely going to be tissue processing using hematoxylin and eosin stain. You should know your principle, you should know your procedure. Or, I've seen, I've, I asked like students from other schools, I've seen like scenarios whereby they ask so, um, students to like decalcify. So decalcification might be dead soon. For chemical pathology, you should expect things like um, Benedict's test for reducing substance, so for salicylic acid test for protein all those small small tests test, 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 test. they're not small <laughs> all those qualitative tests are most likely going to come out for chemical pathology which one have i not talked about i think there's all okay so for your spotting spot spotting is very 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 important too they might bring it before you start the practical or after the old practical so spotting is that one that you are going to be showing you objects and you identify it ask you for the principle the function or like another test that they can test that the instruments can be used for or other tests a lot of questions that is that about practical so let's go into viva so viva is so simple in that whatever thing that you have in your head is what you are going to talk about if they ask you a question and you don't know anything about it there is no way you are going to answer a question answer the question 
So that is why I said earlier that if you are reading for your multiple choice question, read it in the sense that you will be able to explain it later. The explanation is going to come when you are being asked a question in your viva. They can ask you principle, they can ask you reference ranges, they can ask you, okay, what is another procedure that can be used for this test? And also, they can also ask you constituents of reagents. That can also come out to your multiple choice question. They can ask you, like, all these um constituent of reagents let's say tox fluid okay what are the constituents of tox fluid they can ask you a whole lot of things and that is why you should not neglect one topic for the other but for the practical i've been able to like give us int on what we can go read or what we can go through and also assimilate well at the end of everything to crown it all i have a hub that can actually help us in like putting our reading in check like guiding us through our reading let's just not be reading so i'm going to put the app here like the logo of the app or like the picture of the app so we can see it it has like section for sports in like you see instruments some little little questions and answers and it has question for practical and then answer here so i'm going to like put a picture for us to see this video interesting let's say you learned one or two things please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe just in case you have someone around you that is a medical laboratory science student even if they are not relevant this video can be helpful it's like put them in check let them understand what is going to happen later on thank you for watching don't forget to click the subscribe button until next time they are going to be seeing my face again. Stay cool, stay calm, and be happy. Bye guys. I love you all.